Hi, my name is Seti and in today's video we're going to be looking at Google Classroom headers. We're going to create our own in Canva and we're going to set those up ready for the new school year. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the first thing you'll want to do is open up Canva. Now you can go to canva.com and quickly create an account if you haven't got one yet. Now Canva offers both free and premium accounts, but those premium accounts are available for free if you are an educator. So make sure that you reach out to them. Now, because we're creating a Google Classroom header, we need specific dimensions and Canva has it built in. So here within the environment of Canva, I'm going to go to create a design. Now, once you've clicked on create a design, you'll see there are dozens of available templates. The one we want is the Google Classroom header. So go ahead and start typing Google Classroom. And there we go. Once we've typed Google Classroom, you'll see we get a Google Classroom announcement and a Google Classroom header. This is the one we want to use. So let's go ahead and click on that. This creates a brand new design for us and we can now use any of these templates here on the left hand side. As you can see, I can scroll down. There's a lot of templates available or I can create my own design by adding in elements or uploading different images. At the moment, I'm going to stick to the templates. So I'm going to just scroll down. You can see there are a number of different templates. Now those that are free will be marked as free in the bottom right corner and the premium months are marked as pro. But again, as an educator, you can contact Canva and they will upgrade your account to a premium account. I'm going to select one of the free templates. Let's go ahead and select this one. Click on that and it's immediately brought into my designer. I can now start tweaking this. So you can see all these shapes are different elements and I can change what it says. So the more you practice, the better you get. I love that. I love that saying. Mistakes is how we learn, so let's just leave it as it is. But maybe move around some of these shapes just to show you how easy it is to create your own headers. So there we go, we'll move these around. And then that way we are designing our own headers. Now we can also insert our own elements. So for example, when I click on elements here, I can find different images and photos. Let's go to photos and let's just simply search for something with grass. There we go. We're going to type in grass. We have lots of different elements and we can use these by simply clicking on them and then they are brought into the image. We're going to make this a bit bigger and then simply bring that down and move this up. Okay, let's say that this is going to be our Google Classroom header. We're going to go to the top and make sure that we give it a title because untitled files, it gets messy. So let's go ahead and title this art class new header ready for the new school year let's go to download and let's download it as a png now you can also download this as a jpeg but i'm going to download this as a png file click on download the file is being downloaded all good and well i now have that file right here in the bottom left corner let's open up google classroom we're going to go to classroom.google.com and create our new class. This is for the upcoming school year, so it's a brand new classroom. I'm going to click on plus, create a class. Art class 2021-2022. And let's go ahead and create this. Before doing anything else within Google Classroom, I'm going to go to the header and select upload photo. Now I can drag this file from Canva into that uploader. It is uploading the file. It allows me to change the crop. So we're just going to adjust the crop so that we have our header image right there. Perfect. And then click on select class theme. That image is being uploaded and you can see that we now have a custom header at the top of our classroom. When we go back to the main Google Classroom page, that header is also visible right there. And this will really help your students as well as yourself to quickly visually identify those different classrooms. Now for even more EdTech tips, click on the following video and I will see you in the next one.